Welcome back to another episode of The Wind Down. Today we are joined by Alexander Hodge, who plays mom's hey. love interest, Andrew, to discuss low-key tripping. This was a big episode for Andrew and Molly. Yeah. What do you think this trip says about their relationship? I mean, I don't think Andrew and Molly, uh, I don't think they take family lightly, either of them. So the fact mm -hmm. that somebody's meeting someone else's family, it's like things are getting pretty, pretty serious between these two. Can you talk about Andrew's journey? Yeah, ooh. yeah, I think Andrew, Andrew's been confronted. I think for the first time, Andrew's sort of been really challenged by a strong personality and relationship. So this is the first time where he's been like, oh, okay, I need to contribute yeah. in some way that makes me uncomfortable. And so I think mainly that's been being vulnerable, opening mm -hmm. up and like, you know, just being an Asian man and being raised the way he was, talking about things that don't make him feel strong or make him feel insecure right. are really difficult for him. What do you think sort of is going through Molly's head uh, during her argument with Victor about her overreacting to the towel lady? It's, it's, I think it's the first time that Molly's had to defend her existence to somebody who is of Andrew's side of the relationship. Yeah. So it's like the first time that Molly's had to explain what being black is mm -hmm. like to Victor. And Andrew is kind of on the side, but also at the same time is, is just trying to understand right. where both sides are coming from. And I think in that moment, what he was trying to do by trying to defuse the situation wasn't actually helpful because he actually made Molly feel more isolated. This is our first episode out of the country. What was it like? I think it was, it infused, I think, a new energy into the show to also take a show that on paper is about, you know, these two black women that live in a very specific part of LA and take them and put them in the see Black people travel and yeah. to take this show and not just show, you know, obviously us filming there is one thing to see black people, you know, you know, in front of the camera, behind the camera, out of the country, you know, filming a television show. But I think also it does a lot even on screen to see that because we do travel. No Issa. I mean, how was that yeah. for you on your side? It was a blessing. I've been waiting for this <laughs> moment for four seasons. She said, let's get, let's get three more. And it was, yes, let's get three. Next season, ooh. I'm not going to be in none of it. <laughs> not going to be in none of it. But I do want to talk about just the presence that Issa has on this trip. Um, so I think even though Issa was not appearing in this episode, Issa definitely yeah. featured heavily. I feel like it's affected Molly so much because Issa and Molly are just such a strong presence in each other's lives. I do wonder if the fight with Issa hadn't happened and if she didn't have that burden on her trip, if she would have gone so hard on Victor. Victor was being a bit of a dick. Victor was a dick for yeah. sure. Yeah. I think Victor was the victim of displacement of right. anger. And I think that's what's interesting about episode six and seven, even though they're not in each other's episodes, the, their presence is felt. That's how strong these two women are yeah. in each other's lives. And then how much by them not dealing with it, it's still a presence they have to face right. in some way. And so I think that's what's great about the end with Yvonne. It's like, I have to sort of start to deal with this. When do you feel like it's right to react or to let it go? Speaking as myself or what I would like myself to do? Speaking as yourself. <laughs> react. React all day. So the towel, from the towel lady to the fight in the jacuzzi. Yeah. I, Those are your moves. Well, I need to. I need to work on. I'm actively working. <laughs> on this myself. Dr. Rhonda is available. Is I, look. I have my own Dr. Rhonda, and she helps me. I I react a lot. I feel like reacting might not be the issue. Overreacting is an issue. Reacting is not an issue. Yeah. But I think when you react, it's important to like find a way to maintain capacity to listen. Okay. Well, we can't thank you enough for joining us this week. Be sure to join us next week for a new episode of The Wind Down. Cheers. Cheers.